Grace and peace to you, my sisters and brothers. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Those wonderful words of Easter greeting mean so much to all of us. They proclaim the truth that nothing, not even the cross, not even a grave, nothing will prevent Christ from living, living again, and indeed living in your heart, in my heart, in our lives. We read in Romans that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ. We live in a time of difficulties, do we not? We know that as, as we live our lives, we struggle with illnesses, with death, with tragedies. And now in our world today, we're so aware of wars and rumors of wars, of a worldwide economy that's having a huge impact on us in our communities, on our families, and on people who already were living on the margins. We know that some 25,000 children die every day, and that number increases as our resources become more limited to provide even the very basics of life. But Christ has come to give us hope and to empower us to be those who participate with Christ in new life, in giving ourselves away. As a church, as we move into a new time of rethinking church, we realize that we can spread the word of Jesus Christ, the life-giving word of Jesus Christ, daily, far beyond the walls of our church, far beyond our communities, far indeed across the world. And so as we live into this Easter tide, May you know in your hearts and may you live in your lives the reality that Christ is risen, that Christ lives, and that you are the one who can spread that good news. Thanks be to God.